Let's get to work here. <laughs> Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Hope your health and strength is good. What? And to you Steam Deck fans, man. Yeah, you. Steam Deck Tribe. Steam Deck Nation. Steam Deck Universe. Steam Deck World. Steam Deck Legion was good. Steam Deck Mod, what's up? What's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad was good. Look. <laughs> you know, Valve's, Gabe Noel said, uh, we couldn't find a game. The Steam Deck. Deck could not run. Hmm. Okay, so then, but then my question was, okay, if that's the case, then is it half a gig of RAM for the OS and 15 and a half for games? Is it one gig of RAM for the OS and 15 for games? Imagine if the Steam Deck just had two gigs of RAM with the APU and the with the APU and GPU and CPU that the Steam Deck is using right now. Just imagine if the Steam Deck just only had two gigs of RAM in it. <laughs> Those games that you're running right now would not start. <laughs> it might, it might load, it might load the OS. It might load the OS a little bit, but far as like playing the game, you guys would be fuming. <laughs> your hair would be raising. You, your eyes would be red, man. You would be fuming. You probably take the Steam Deck <laughs> and throw it out and throw it out of a building or a window. Just imagine if the Steam Deck only had two gigs of RAM in it, just two, and you tried to run, say, like, uh, <laughs> let's see, what game could I use here? Uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. You would be fuming. You would be angry. <laughs> it, it wouldn't run, man. So that RAM inside the Steam Deck, man, that's 16 gigs of RAM, man. It's very important, man. Because, look, the OS needs its RAM. That's one. The apps needs its RAM. That's two. The expansion to the OS it needs its RAM when it comes in. Not the one that the OS is already using, but you, that's already using. But the expansion to the OS it needs its RAM when it comes in. So, that's 16 gigs of RAM inside the uh, Steam Deck, man. Um, uh, <laughs> is, is, is key to all this for all the games to be running, man. You can... You can have a high-end CPU, a high-end GPU, a high-end uh, APU that acts as a CPU and a GPU, right? Hmm. But that RAM inside this, but that RAM inside your um, inside your, uh, your uh, inside the Steam Deck is key now, because if you don't have that 16 gigs of RAM, if I just had one gig of RAM or or even two, <laughs> what <laughs> that boy? The amount of complaints that Valve would be getting, man, <laughs> would be off the charts. So yeah, that 16 gigs of RAM inside the Steam Deck, man, is um, it's no joke. It's, it's the same that goes for the um, for the ANEO or the One X or the GPD. Those 16 gigs of RAM inside those handhelds, man. Yeah, that's the key to all that, man. I mean, you can have the the high-end GPU, that's one. The high-end APU, that's two. And the high-end CPU, that's three. But if you ain't got the RAM to support all that, forget it. <laughs> You're going to have headaches, man. So, yeah, those those handhelds, the Steam Deck, the One X, uh, the a and &E and the GPD, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, the, yeah, those, those, those handhelds ain't no joke, man. Anyway, look, got a little article here. Talks about uh, the Steam Deck, how to turn off our cloud sync. And there's another uh, article that I, that I was reading up on, too, um, it's from Digital Foundry, but they got two videos inside that article. So what I'm gonna do is put it with this with this article, and then you click on the links and watch the video. But that um, but that uh, that that RAM inside the Steam Deck, man, serves its purpose, man. If you had one gig of RAM or two gigs of RAM only in the Steam Deck, you couldn't play the Division. You couldn't play uh. <laughs> You couldn't play Red Dead Redemption. You couldn't play um, Spider-Man. <laughs> You're not playing anything. You're just stuck. <laughs> anyway, look. Says your uh, cloud saving Steam Deck. How to turn off cloud cloud saving? Cloud saving is a great way to back up your games data on the Steam Deck. Here's how to enable disable cloud saving. Says your uh, the Steam Deck is a clever device. Oh, it's clever now, huh? 
Next thing you know, they're going to say it's intelligent. <laughs> anyway, says here that much more than a rival to the Nintendo Switch, it's a capable handheld with PC-like features allowing it to play a library of demanding. Yeah, as games get demanding in your Steam Deck, so does the RAM. The RAM is just sitting there like what? Come get some. Anyway, it says here up on the go. Part of the appeal of playing a portable gaming device is a is the ability to stop and start a game without worrying about losing progress. Yep. Says the Steam Deck can save games using cloud internal system. And individually, it's beneficial to have the cloud save option and able to ensure that players never lose a, lose a save. Moreover, the save will transfer from the Steam, Steam app on a desktop to the Steam Deck and vice versa. Cloud saving also works with multiple users on the same Steam Deck console. Mm. Nice. Says here, uh, says here, okay, where are we at? Uh oh, I'm going too fast here. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> I've been all over the place. Says here, with the Steam Deck in, the, in hand, use the following step to the enable and disable cloud saving for all games. Says here, uh, okay, uh, select the settings option, then scroll down to cloud options, and then it says, uh, click, the, click the switch to blue to enable cloud saving or leaving it disabled to save game files uh, locally. This will ensure all games are saved to the cloud. Um, say players enable and disable cloud savings for individual games if they prefer. The following steps to accessing a game saves are as follows. Press the Steam, press the Steam button, then select the second drop down option for the live for for the library, then it says here uh, this, the screen display the user list of games. Now select the desired game to open the game screen, and then it says here. Now select uh, select the cog symbol to access the game settings, and it says select the properties option, and it says in general tabs, move down the menu and check or uncheck the keep games in the Steam clouds. This means that players can save their games on a little, on a title by title basis. Then it says here, transferring cloud saves from a PC to Steam Deck. For players that like to play games on their Steam Decks and a laptop or a PC, then enable the cloud saving options to, is essential to, to ensure that the cloud saving option is active from the Steam app, use the following instructions. Download and launch the Steam app on the PC. Select the Steam drop-down menu in the top left corner of the screen. Select the setting options. <laughs> and then it says here, uh, select the cloud option and then check and en enable Steam cloud synchronization for application. Yes, yeah, call vocabulary. But anyway, it says here, uh, it's also a good idea to check the option for the screen uploader to capture and share screenshots on the Steam Deck. That's everything that players need to enable and disable their saving options and transfer them between system. It says the Steam Deck is available from Steam online stores. That's the end of the article. So now you know how to cloud clouds. You know now you know how to enable and disable our cloud save on the Steam Deck, and then enable and disable cloud save between the Steam Deck, laptop, and your uh, desktop. So, yeah. There you, ha there you have it. But what I'm going to do, though, is um, leave the um, the Digital Foundry, uh, those two videos from Digital Foundry, and then leave those li leave those video links in the description box. You click on the link, watch the videos. But, yeah, but so far, so good. 2023 started off, and Valve is making sure that this thing this Steam Deck is a steady ship sailing, so more updates will be coming, and I will keep you posted. But, um, yeah, as games get demanding, <laughs> so does the RAM in the Steam Deck, because, um, like I said, you can have a, a high-end CPU. That's cool. You got a high-end GPU. That's cool. You got a high-end um, high uh, 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 APU. The APU acts as a CPU and a GPU, right? 
got all that. That's cool. But now that RAM comes into play. So just imagine if you only had two, one gig of RAM in the Steam Deck or two. <laughs> Those games would <will> not start. <laughs> it would be like being in the early 90s when they were using, um, <laughs> when they were using, um, uh, like, 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 like five, like a hundred gigs of RAM to run stuff. That's how bad it would be, um, in today's time. So, um, that RAM inside the Steam Deck, man, um. Yeah, when Val, when Gabe Noel made that statement, I, I I knew that the RAM was gonna be the key in all this. Yeah, you got that high end CPU and GPU and all that, but that RAM inside the Steam Deck, man, oh yeah, makes everything run run like clockwork. Yeah, and that's why it's able to. That's why it's, that's why it is able to run the games that it is running. It's because of that RAM, and that's why it's running circles around the Switch. The Switch only got what four gigs of what four gigs of RAM. And the Steam Deck got four times the amount? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, Valve did their homework, man. So when they came out, they made that statement. They put the entire gaming universe on notice. Like, okay, the handheld market is changing around here. If you're going to run today's games, you got to build your, your handheld like this or, or better. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's, that, that's Steam Deck? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, that little thing packs a bunch, man. And those games that are coming coming in this year? Oh, yeah. The Steam Deck fans are just sitting there waiting like, oh, it's not here yet? Okay, we can wait some more. <laughs> so, yeah. They're having, they're having a blast with that thing, man. You know? and, um, it's good to see um, you know, Valve and the developers now working together, you know? They, they're, real, they're realizing how powerful this thing is, you know. And the same goes for the ANEO. The same goes for the GPD and the One X, man. Oh, yeah. They're having a blast with those handhelds, man. So, yeah. We couldn't find a game? You're, you're like, what? Wait a minute. When I was playing games in the in the Panasonic 3DO days, the Turbo Graphics days, the Neo Geo days, the... Uh, 8-bit Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation 1, 2, uh, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Xbox. We have never heard of a handheld coming out running running games like they like they were supposed to be run. Valve changed all that. They came out swinging like we don't care. We could not find a game that Steam Deck couldn't run. And your ears just go up like, 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 like that siren on Metal Gear. And you're like, what? What you mean? What you mean? You, we couldn't find a game, a single game. I'm like, and I did the research on the CPU and the GPU to see what, what they're pushing. I'm like, all right. And then I'm sitting there messing with them, like, okay. So if that's the case, is it half a gig of RAM for the OS and 15 and a half for games? Once I said that, what everybody was like, okay, <laughs> they knew what they were getting. So the Steam Deck went, and um, the ANEO, the One X, oh yeah, GPD. Those handheld packs a punch, man. And they're and they're, um, they're they're letting the world know that they're here to play and they mean business, man. So yeah, if you got one of those handhelds, man, have fun with it. Enjoy. Twenty twenty three is only gonna get better. Get ready for those games that are coming. Anyway, latest video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again, Chris. Still Star Wars: The Search for Peace.